Okay, so we got something set up today. We got the charger and the inverter generator going. So we got 640 watts going into the batteries. 54.8 volts. These aren't putting much power in any, anymore because the, my panels are flat on the roof and the sun is going down. But I have been asked by a few uh, subscribers to do a full load test. This is a 3000 watt inverter. It should be able to run two 1500 watt heaters. And it's not just two 1500 watt heaters. I have that cord going into my house running my Alienware laptop, uh, computer screen and whatnot. And actually I'm gonna go get my other camera so I can show you uh, what the Nero is saying and how much power we're taking. The only problem is, is this little breaker down there, that's gonna pop soon after, so I won't be able to do 3000 for long and actually show you on the Nero how much power it's taking. Okay, so, got the Nero app running. I got this heater on low, and we're gonna start with that, and then we're gonna turn this one on. This one only has one setting that's high. Got 600 watts coming into the battery bank, so that'll help keep them up because I'm not getting much from the sun anymore. I was having problems with my Nero actually. I'm hoping this will fix it. Uh, I'm at, I think I'm at the end of my Nero's reach to my Wi Fi, so and I think maybe this was interfering or something. I don't know. I'm not sure. Anyways, so I ran a antenna over there. But this, that shows the total watts that's being used okay so I'm gonna put this somewhere easier to look at you know lean against this charge charger right here that's what I'll do okay so so I gonna push this button you should see a very large leap I don't know how long that breaker is gonna last but let's see there you go that's 2,000 watts I'm going to leave it there for a sec. I want uh, these fans to turn on and then I'll do uh, 3000. Or I'll do this heater on high anyway to see what we get to. We're at 2030. It's dropping now because this has heated up. It's blowing. This one blows really hot. This one doesn't blow as hot. I don't know why. This is a ceramic, maybe that's why. That one's not. No, this one is a ceramic. I don't know. Anyways, 2,000 watts. Actually, hold on. I'm going to pause this test. I'm going to go get my oscilloscope because what good is this without the oscilloscope? Okay, so fans have not turned on yet. This is still on low. As you can see, our sine wave looks quite nice with 580 ish watts. Get our frequency in there. This thing, this meter jumps a little around a little bit, but let's turn this completely off. The sine wave actually goes a tiny bit more ripply with it off, with no almost no load, 65 watts. Then we put this is the this is the 500 and what some odd watt load. It cleans up a lot. Now I'm going to hit this and we're going to go up to 2,000 watts. I'll try and get both in frame here. There it goes. 2,000 watts. Oops, sorry. You guys can see that. So it's climbing 2,150 watts. We're getting a little bit of noise at the top end and bottom end of the sine wave. That's not wonderful, that's probably uh, some harmonic distortion there. This is getting to this inverter's max. We are two thirds of the way there. I'm gonna leave this at this level till the fans come on. So you can see my jumps there on the Nero. And there's our sine wave there. It's not terrible, it's not Super great at 2,000 watts. It looks like 1,500 watts is where it does its nice clean one. Let's see. I'm gonna shut this one off completely. There we go. Fans turned on. Okay, I'm gonna keep this on. 
Eh, it's warm coming out. Seems to be working. Okay, now we're gonna try this on high. We're gonna see what happens. There's my graph of what I've been doing power-wise. We're at 2,000 watts right now. And here goes high. And nope. That's it. It cut out. Shut this off. We're gonna cycle this and see if I fried something. Nope, didn't fry something. It, it didn't like the 3,000 watts though. That quite wasn't even quite 3,000 watts. I'm very surprised about that actually. Now this has to reboot because I took the power away. So, from what I am seeing here, this isn't really a 3,000 watt inverter. This is more like a 2,500 watt, maybe. We're gonna try this test one more time though. Let the fans cool it down and uh, I'm gonna try this again. Okay, so we got the Nero connected again. Pulling 40 watts without these two on. Sine wave is still good, it's not like we wrecked anything. Input voltage, almost 53 volts. Still got uh, 640 watts coming from the generator. Things working fine on here, so. Let's see what the surge is on this thing. I'm going to turn this to high and then turn this on. And we're going to see what happens. So, there is the one heater on high. Oh, my Nero just froze. I'll get back to you. Okay, got the Nero going again. Every time you lose power, it's a pain to get it connected again, but. Well, it's part of testing, isn't it? Now, we are actually working right now. We're going to turn this to high. And we're going to turn this on. Let's see what happens here. There's a... There's an overload safety on this that shuts off immediately the second I go over. So let's cycle this again. Shut this off. I want to find out exactly my limit. So I'm going to turn this on, turn that on low, and I'm going to add this 300 watt halogen and see where my limit is. Okay. Okay, we got everything situated again. Currently taking 300 watts. I'm going to turn this on, turn that on to low. There we go. Now we just turn one heater on. This is a 1500 watt heater approximately. <coughs> My Nero is at the end of its uh, Wi-Fi reach, so it's having a hard time. Still working though. Okay, now let's turn this on to fan and then low. So we're pulling 1800 watts almost. Now we are pulling 2000. <coughs> 2100. Almost 2200. Yep, 2200 we've hit. hit. So it can run 2200 watts. Let's see how long it can run 2200 watts for. I had to put the antenna on here going up, but we're throwing a lot of heat. Battery input voltage is 51.6 there. Oh, that's it. It overheated, it shut down. Wow, what a disappointment, eh? Can't even do 2200 watts. 3000 watt inverter. I'm gonna send this to uh, Reliable Electric first. See what they have to say about this, but uh, I am very dissatisfied with this inverter. 
This does not seem in any way like a 3000 watt inverter. This acts exactly like a 2000 watt inverter. So, obviously this isn't working anymore, but this is what it cut out at, guys. 2,241 watts. This is the current sine wave. Disappointment. This inverter right here, this uh, one that broke on me, this one could easily do, it could do well over 3,000 3, watts. Maybe that's why it broke, because it was overperforming, uh, but it could do a ton of power. This one could definitely run way more than that one can run, which I'm very disappointed about, but I can't say I was expecting it to be perfect. As soon as I opened it up and saw this one only had four transformers, about the same size as this one, which has five transformers. The output stage of this one, it has twice as many large MOSFETs. This one's only got four. This one has eight. Uh, the input side of this had those crappy small little MOSFETs, but it had, uh, I believe it was four in parallel times five, where this one has two large MOSFETs in parallel times four. Um, this one seems to have good safeties at least, but I'm not sure. We'll see how long it actually lasts, but pretty much scratch this out. This is a 2000 watt inverter. I'm gonna stick a 2000 watt uh, inverter uh, tag on that. There, that's better. That's what they should be selling this as, right there. This is a pile of baloney, which I half expect for anything from China. But uh, yeah, this SWI uh, power inverter I honestly like this one better only because it would had a way better surge. It died on me and it seems to be dying on a lot of people so it's also a bad inverter but it had a ridiculous amount. It can do easily 3000 watts. So at least this one met its output capabilities even though it did die. This one does not meet it. it who, who knows maybe this one will last forever at 2000 watts but it's still not 3000 and I tested that very well and uh, yeah let's take a look and see what this one can run this is my repaired version it's probably not as good as the original uh, just because I, I had to repair a ton of uh, leads and stuff on it but let's check it out now I hope that this 50 Hertz frequency doesn't wreck the electronics and this one you very well could but we got both these heaters hooked up this one I don't have the Nero hooked up to. That one's hooked up to this inverter. But let's see now. We're pulling, this is saying 17, 26 watts. I don't know why it's showing that. Uh, voltage, 128. Let's turn this one on. Let's see what happens. I can't run it. See, that, I'm not sure if that has something to do with the frequency or if that's just because my repair uh, actually has less output capability than the original. It works. Like, let's see, this one on low, working. This thing used to run both of these at the same time. So, let's put this on high now. Oh, you know what it could be? I'm running through two BMS boards. That's probably what it is. So that is a 20 amp BMS, that's a 20 amp BMS. That's, I'm pretty dang sure that's the problem. Okay, I think I figured it out. So it's not, I don't think it's the inverter, I think it's my BMS boards. I don't have enough uh, current capabilities. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. That's my short review, or maybe long review of this inverter. 2000 watt, not 3000 watt.